All right, guys. Here we go. So, you know, I just want to recap my whole trip to Peru. You know, just to give you my final thoughts about the whole city and my staying there. All my experiences. And starting from the first day from the airport, I think everything went super smooth. No problems at all. Just keep, remember, don't forget, um, there's free internet at the airport, so if you need to call your Uber or your InDrive, you could do it from there. And then, when it comes to the weather, amazing weather. When it comes to the infrastructure, really, really good. I was actually surprised of how good it was. I mean, not because I heard anything, but you know, I wasn't expecting to be so, like that. I think, you know, the street were good, the street was safe, buildings were fine too. I was staying was amazing, really, really cool, so I can't even complain about that, especially, especially where I was staying. The first part was crazy on the 15th floor, then the last part was incredible too, super model apartment, you know, world class, actually, that's one of the best. And that's one of the best Airbnb I have stayed in my life and I've been to many so that was definitely a good look um, and then when it comes to food so when it comes to food really really good like you guys already know I don't even have to go into too many details when it comes to food in Peru like one of the best cuisines in the world Peru has man it's really really good from from the simplest thing to the most complicated dish that you could think of Peru has it all man seafood amazing Woo! I, I mean really really good the culture things to do there's so many different things to do I think to be honest when you go to Peru you have to do at least at least 15 to 30 days because you need to spend at least two, three weekends there so you could get, you know, to go around the city. If you stay in Lima, so you could really go out, go to nice restaurants, go to nice bars and clubs. And if you're gonna go to adventures like Machu Picchu, the Rainbow Mountains and stuff like that, you still could do that. Because you could do that throughout the weekdays and on the weekends you stay in the major cities. And I definitely, definitely think if you go, you have to go to Machu Picchu. That's a must, you really need to go. Prepare yourself for it, plan it out, do the research, check out on the backs, I'm gonna link the video from Machu Picchu, how to get there. It's very important that you know how to get there, the things that you need to do, the steps, where to buy the tickets and stuff like that so that you're ready for it. So, do not forget about that, that's a must right there, that's a must, Machu Picchu. But all in all, amazing city, amazing country, Lima was the perfect night out, off the hook, beautiful women everywhere. To be honest, me being raised in New York, like going to high school and college in New York, I never seen Peruvian chicks looking like the way they look in Peru. Like I seen them all short and quiet to themselves in the corner. In Peru, woof. I saw some girls out there, man, that could be like Miss Universe, bro. They're looking fire. So, and they're easy to talk to. They're not complicated. They're not doing all this craziness like they do in the States. Really easy to talk to. Super humble, super cool. So, if you're looking for something, a relationship or things like that, you definitely could find it in Peru, man. Definitely. Um, that's about it for now. Um, if you have any questions, leave it on the comments in the box. I got you. Remember, that's it. I'm going to leave you the link for the um lima um travel guy so that you could actually you know get some of your questions answered there i put a whole bunch of restaurants bars clubs that you could definitely check out in lima also if there's anything that you like from the stuff that i was wearing all the fashion i'll be rocking i'm gonna leave a link also of the amazon storefront where you could buy all that stuff super super cheap um and that's about it man just leave a question do not forget to subscribe it's your boy Bry Harper Brrrr.